if if level, if that helps you understand, so. I'm good with it. I really am. But what you're saying is the real explanation, so I got to teach the real explanation too. So here's what really happens. This is two eight seven. Right. How many protons? Seventeen protons. So I want you guys to write this down. So these seventeen, they're pulling because they're attracted to the negative electrons. There's the whole tug of war analogy. And what Will was saying also kind of helps that the electrons are also pulling because they're attracted to the proton. So the negatives are pulling the positives, the positives are pulling the negatives, and then they reach a balance, like an equilibrium, and that's the radius. Well, if you start changing that equilibrium, start screwing that up by adding or taking away electrons, it's gonna increase or decrease that radius. So if we add an electron, it becomes 288, right? Yes. Everybody with me on that? Yeah. We add one to the balance shell because it's minus one. There's still 17 protons pulling. Uh, so, wait, 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 wait. hold it. Wait, no, wait, no, no, wait. no, no. Wait, let me wait, finish. Wait, wait. I'm not gonna let you talk. Stop. So, this has three energy levels, and this has three energy levels. So, the adding or losing a shell really only works for the positive ion. So, all the metals on the left side they form positive cations, like the calcium I just went over, it's a lot easier to see because they lose an entire level and they get smaller. The nonmetals over on the right, this is what they do. They gain electrons, but it's in the same shell. So whether you have seven or eight, you still have three levels. All right, so think of it this way. You still have three levels that the nucleus is pulling on. But what Will was saying and what Renee was starting to say is the explanation. Now you have 18 people, 18 electrons pulling on 17 protons. So because you have one more person added to this tug of war, they start to win a little bit more, so the electrons start pulling away, which make it a little bit bigger. The opposite way to explain that is the protons can't pull 18 electrons as close as it can pull 17 electrons. The only time this breaks down in real life is that person you add in real life would matter, right? If you're doing, you know, 10 on 10 and you add a kindergartner on one side, that's not going to help. But if you add, you know, Mr. Vogel, that will help, okay? Because he's a big, strong guy. So in real life, the analogy breaks down. So what you have to imagine is everybody involved is equal size, equal strength. So that if we add one, that makes a big difference. Now you can talk. Never mind. Good. That's what I was hoping. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you compare two elements of ones and ions, like a carbon uh, atom mm -hmm. and an oxygen ion, mm -hmm. they have we're gonna do that next. Negative two, because they have the same amount. Yep. Of we're gonna do that next. Okay. So then we'll get to that, and then you can think about it and see if you can figure it out first. So why is it so? I, I, I think I know. Okay. So this is the protons. Yeah. So the protons never change. So that adds up all the, the configuration. Only if it's an atom. Right, so then that, why is that one 17 then? This is 17 because of the protons. protons. This adds up to 18. Right. Because there's eight. So this Cl- minus has 17 protons and 18 electrons. Right. This one has 17 protons, 17 yeah, electrons. And I get, I, that one just has an extra one. Cl this has yeah. one extra electron. That's why it becomes the 17 uh, is in the like, I understand why it's like 17 and 17. Like, you're you're confused 17. about this and this? Yeah, like why? Because that's what, like, that one adds up to 17. That one adds up to 18. Why doesn't that one 18 then? Oh, because the protons, because because inside the nucleus, you have your positive pro. Remember we had people standing inside the desks mm -hmm. with the positive signs? And then remember I had Alex and Silas leave and come back? So the electrons can leave and come back. So that can change. But what's inside that nucleus cannot change. Okay. So if you start with 17, you're always going to have 17 inside the nucleus. That's never going to change. Okay. Does that help? Yep. Okay. So uh, what are we writing? Let's write this down. So anions, that's what this is. Anions are larger because the protons, I'm going to explain it from the protons per perspective, because the protons cannot pull the extra electrons, cannot pull the extra, no it's down at the bottom here, sorry, 
anions are larger because the protons cannot pull the extra electrons um, closer to the nucleus. And I guess I probably could have worded that a little bit better. Closer to the nucleus. Um, I mean, that's okay, but really what I should have said is if you add an electron, it's harder for the protons to pull it. That's a better way to kind of explain it. So, um, but that, it means the same thing. So the atom can pull the electrons closer, the ion cannot because there's one more electron, so it's more difficult for the protons to pull on that extra electron, whether it's one or two or three or whatever. So that's why when we um, look at the right side, nonmetals, they all get bigger when they gain electrons because it's more difficult for the protons to pull them close. I have a question. Yeah. So you know how like atoms make up matter? Mm -hmm. What if you, so if you like break, because this place is full of matter, uh, mm -hmm. full of atoms, and you break it, mm -hmm. like, does it, that, like, does that mean that we are stronger than the atoms that are holding it? No, because you're not breaking the atoms apart. Are we breaking the bonds or forces? No. no. What are we breaking then? Just the material. But the material is made up of that. Mm -hmm. You're not, so you're not, when you break that, there's like cracks and jagged pieces. Right. That's not going in between atoms. You aren't splitting the atoms. Yeah, you're atoms. not splitting the atoms apart. Each part will have atoms. So. <laughs> what are we splitting? If, if, if okay, so I see what you're saying. Um, you were separating them. You're separating the matter from itself, but it's still the same type of matter, so you're not altering forces or bonds. That's a chemical change. You're just that's stupid. So if if anything, if it helps you understand, you might be weakening forces a little bit, but that's it. All You're right. not messing around with bond or atoms or any of that stuff. Okay. Hold it before you get going. <laughs> so to be clear, with this uh, little analogy here, okay? Uh, I need some volunteers to play hey. tug of war. Come on over. Take that queen, go down there. I have slippers on the floor, I'll follow. Nope, yeah. you come over here. Oh. Oh. Okay, you hold there. Or you come here, you come here. Okay, oh, no. all right, good, now. Oh, we're in. So, now, these guys are three protons and he's one electron. All right, when I say go, I want you to play tug of war, okay? All right, um, so think of radius. Now, stay with me, we're learning from this, right? Yeah. So. If I say go, and when I say go, and they start doing the tug of war, I don't think he's gonna win, all right? I think these three are probably gonna pull him. So think of it this way, visualize it. The electrons are getting pulled in because of the ratio between protons and electrons. So if you have a lot more protons and electrons, it's gonna really shrink the radius. Let's find out, maybe he's super strong. Go. Wait, are we? <laughs> All right, stop. Okay, good job, Quinn. So, so, what's that? Tyler Well, that's right. So, um, so now, um, Shane, come on up. Rebecca, come on up. Renee, come on up. You said you have slippers on. I'm not going. Jake, come on up. Frank, come on up. Will, come on up. I'll try this. I just like Jake. I wasn't going to pull the viewer up. Right here. Even you, Jake. You guys are all on that side. I was like, hey, like, like I think it was going right here. Right here. Squeeze in, squeeze in, Willie, over here. Over here. I'm not ready for No, no, don't wrap her on your arms, your hands. People lose hands that way. Your hand is easy. Not your hand, not your hand or your. I have a cast. Yeah, I know. Oh, how is this fair? Ready? Go. All right, stop, 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 stop. All right, so, what, what am I trying to, to show? One side has more force than the other. What did I? What did I add? More, more, more electrons. electrons. Right. So now, so if, if you add a ton of electrons, okay, stay with me. That's this. All right, erase it. But that's what we just talked about. When you add, that's an anion. They're gonna start pulling, right? And it's not as easy. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh. Face the board. <laughs> I, I technically could get in trouble for that. You're I'm, I'm supposed to get. Uh, Parental approval before I record kids. Yeah. Oh man, I'm in the video now. Uh, <laughs> claim uh, your boy. I here. know. Um, I think I only got all right, take a seat. Here. Take a seat. Um, Let me explain it again. <laughs> she can hear me. I'm yelling pretty loud. Making sure you're all set. You're, I'm all set. Go you're set. all set. Yep. All right, pretty good. Yep. All right, now. Yeah, 
So, uh, so the concept there, again, is if you add electrons, like the Cl minus, I always put this in a different spot. Yeah, like all the time. Um, so again, with Cl minus, you're adding that one electron, and the 17 just can't pull as much. So those same three guys couldn't pull as well when it was multiple electrons versus just quinn, just one. So that's the whole concept. All right. You, you kind of with me on that? I hope I'm trying to repeat it and do it different ways so you didn't get it. Answer this question, write this down. Which of the following, in line with this one, has a smaller radius? Has a smaller radius? And a plus or F minus? Want you to, once you write the question down, think about it, and feel free to discuss it with someone sitting near you. Minus what? Plus. Well, when you see just a plus or a minus, it means one. So, just... Take what we just did with the tug of war. And apply it to this. No. One of them might have more shells than the other. This is the last concept. Mm, no. Yeah, so minus one. That, that's just one. Seven, one, and eight. Plus. No, it would just be eight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no. 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 So even though they have the same amount of electrons, I think it's F minus because I heard yes. Z from no, the, the mass will bring in the electrons. I feel like it's F minus, but they're pretty much the same. I think it's a good configuration. One of them's got to be bigger. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
So this is smaller because there's a greater pull by the two extra protons. Does that make sense? Yeah. Everybody with me on that? Yeah. Okay, let's write that down, then we're done. So this is uh, smaller due to more protons pulling the same number of electrons closer. Same number of electrons closer. And I, I, I think, my opinion, writing the notes isn't as useful, useful as seeing it, like use the tape measure, playing tug of war, uh, kind of drawing the diagrams. It is important to write it down, but I, you know, just reading that isn't gonna help a lot unless you see it and understand it. So uh, hopefully you guys are with me on this. So theoretically. Theoretically.